Hey, good people. What's up? How y'all doing? It's been a day. I haven't left the house in like three days. Finally left the house today. It's Wednesday, so less than a week to Christmas. And I spent the day, well, the afternoon running errands. So I took my daughter to gymnastics. Today was her final class of the year. And then I had to run a couple errands for my father-in-law and those took forever. Then I had to go to the bank. That wasn't so bad. But I left the house, what time, like 10.30? And I'm just now getting home. It's like almost three o'clock. So I'm just now making some dinner. I'm starving. And I just wanted to pop on because tomorrow I don't have much planned. I did want to take the car to the car wash today, but I don't feel like it. And then Friday is the day when we're having our like friend meetup. So my friends and their kids, we're going to go meet up at Pizza Hut. The kids can run around, have a blast. We're going to have dinner and then we're going to exchange some ornaments. And that's going to be like our Christmas party. And then I still have to go to the supermarket and get a lot of the groceries for Christmas Eve and for Christmas Day. So I'm trying to figure out what day I want to do that, either Thursday or Friday. I do have to get a big bag of potato chips so that my son can bring that to soccer because they're having their soccer party on Saturday. So I'm trying to figure everything out, try not to give myself a headache, try not to stress out, just trying to enjoy the season. We have a couple of Christmas movies we want to watch, so we're going to try to knock out a few of those today. So I had stopped at the store on my way to bring my daughter to gymnastics because I wanted to pick up a photo frame which I did buy and I wrapped it that's going to be a gift to my in-laws with the kids Christmas pictures in it and I was also looking for gift ideas for my friend I wanted to give her a belated birthday gift so I saw that they had these mason jar decorative ceramic type planters and these are a little bit smaller than the ones I had bought previously but they were like less than a dollar so I went ahead and I got four of them I've already wrapped two so I bought this really pretty festive but neutral wrapping paper these two I'm going to put in my gift stash and like I mentioned before, they say a bunch of different things. So I got all four. I got Love, Bella, Garden, and Home. For the price, you can't beat it. Less than a dollar. It's a really nice gift. Really good quality. Hey guys it's Friday so just a couple more days to Christmas I'm so excited so today I'm going to the supermarket so I can pick up all the groceries for Christmas Eve dinner and for Christmas Day breakfast I don't cook for Christmas Day dinner we usually go out to eat my brother-in-law gave us gift certificates to Chile so that's where we're gonna go this year for our Christmas dinner but I have my list and I'm going to stop at a couple of stores and then I will show you guys everything I picked up and what our menu looks like. Hey guys, so I'm back home now and I'm going to show you everything I got. I went to four different stores, but I'm not going to divide it into stores. I'm just going to divide it into what I have for Christmas morning breakfast and what I have for 
Christmas Eve dinner. And I'm pretty excited because I was able to get every single thing on my list as far as everything I needed for making breakfast on Christmas morning and dinner on Christmas Eve. I spent about $170 total and I did get a lot of stuff. And some of the stuff's gonna last us into the new year, which is pretty cool. So let's begin. So for non-food items, I said I went to four stores, that's four grocery stores. I did also stop by the department store in the mall. And I've been needing one of these non-slip mats. And this was less than $2 and it looks like you get a lot. So I got one of those. At Walmart, I picked up two deodorants. And then tonight for our friend's Christmas party, we're going to exchange ornaments. And I saw this really cute one. It's like a Christmas present. It has some decoration on top. I thought that would be cute, so I'm going to wrap that up. And that's going to be my gift to exchange. And then I got some disposable popcorn bags for movie nights. Don't mind, my kids are outside playing, so it is a little noisy in the background. I also picked up two of these avocado slices because I thought it was cool. I'm actually going to wrap one up and give it to my mother-in-law as a Christmas gift. All right, so on to the food. At Price Mart, which is our Costco, I got two of these bags. There's 24 packs in here. There's one for the house for the kids to snack on. And then tomorrow, my 10-year-old son has his soccer party and I volunteered to bring some chips. So he's gonna bring a bag of this tomorrow for his soccer party. And then for Christmas morning breakfast, like I mentioned, we only do like a big breakfast for Christmas morning. So I'm making hash browns for Christmas morning breakfast, eggs, we have eggs on hand, but I just wanted to make sure that I had enough eggs, so I got another pack as backup. The buttermilk pancake mix, some turkey bacon. This is a lot of turkey bacon. I got a large tub of strawberries, again, to have some fruit for breakfast, some orange juice for Christmas morning breakfast, syrup for the pancakes, and then three different kinds of cream cheese. I got the rosemary and Parmesan cream cheese, regular cream cheese, and the chili chipotle cream cheese. Two packages of bagels. I do still have a pack of regular plain bagels in the refrigerator. But just as a backup, I got another plane and I picked up a blueberry. Also for Christmas morning breakfast, we're gonna have these mini cinnamon rolls. I actually wanted to buy the frozen kind that you make, but I haven't seen those in months. So I went ahead and just got the pre-made ones at Price Mart. And these are pretty good, especially when we warm them up in the oven just a little bit, just to have them warm on Christmas morning. So I believe that's everything for Christmas morning breakfast. I'm just gonna share my menu with you really quickly. So Christmas day breakfast, turkey bacon, eggs, bagels, cream cheese, hash browns, cinnamon rolls, orange juice, fruit, pancakes, and syrup. All right, so on to Christmas Eve dinner. We celebrate Christmas Eve with my in-laws. Um, the kids get to open all their gifts from my in-laws. They also get to open their sibling gifts and any gifts that my husband gets them they get to open those too so it's a pretty big celebration it's just us though so it's low-key but I did want to make it special so I want to keep the tradition alive so I'm going to show you the menu first so on the menu for Christmas Eve dinner I'm going to do meatballs and my husband's going to do the meatless mandarin orange chicken I'm going to do the broccoli rice again the same rice I did for Thanksgiving because that was a big hit with everybody mashed potatoes my kids love mashed potatoes, especially my daughter. Gravy, baked beans. We're going to have my seven layer magic bars again. Cheesecake, that's already in the freezer. And then some Christmas cake. And then for snacking during the day, we'll have an array of cookies and chocolates. And we'll have dip, crackers, and chips. And for drinks, we're going to have eggnog and sparkling cider. All right, so for the dip, I got some of the multigrain tortillas. We really like these eggnog for me and my older son and then three little boxes of eggnog for the kids this was on a super discount at price smart the bolt house farms 100 percent carrot juice so i decided to go ahead and get that and i'm gonna mix it with the evaporated milk i grew up drinking this drink my family used to make this around the holiday time and it is super delicious 
So I thought we would have that another drink option for us on Christmas Eve. The Ready Whip whipped cream to top our cheesecake and also to put on top of the eggnog. Buttermilk biscuits, these were really good on Thanksgiving, so I went ahead and picked up another pack and it's super cheap and super simple to make. Condensed milk, this goes with my seven layer magic bars. The Welsh's sparkling grape juice. The Rosina homestyle meatballs. Broccoli for the broccoli rice. This was an impulse buy, but we're gonna have this set out. We're just gonna have like a tray of snack type items set out all day Christmas Eve. And I thought this would be good to have out. Tomatoes, potatoes for the mashed potatoes. I got some mini pitas for the dip. Shredded coconut, some walnuts, graham crackers, and these are all for my 7 Lane Magic Bar. My limonada, just to have on hand. I picked this up, the chocolate chip muffin mix. I'll throw this in the pantry just to have on hand, maybe for New Year's Eve. The semi-sweet chocolate chips for the 7 Lane Magic Bars. And then I just picked up some cookies just to have on hand, the iced gingerbread cookies. I don't think my kids have ever had gingerbread cookies and I wanted to have them give that a try. And then I got the holiday shortbread cookies. This is what I'm making for my husband for Christmas Eve dinner, the mandarin orange crispy chicken. It's meatless and it's vegetarian. Hopefully he likes that. I picked up the crescent rolls, some broccoli cream sauce. This is a dip I saw at Price Mart today and I just had to get it. So this is the spinach dip, fresh bruschetta, and the chunky tomato cilantro dip. And that'll be an amazing, amazing snack on Christmas Eve. And then I picked up the Christmas cake again to have this year. And that is everything that we have for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So I'm wrapping up the kids' gifts from my husband. Well, from both of us, really. He wanted to get them some extra gifts. I think I mentioned that in a recent video. And I forgot to film because I wanted to show you guys, you know, some more ideas if you're looking for them, last minute ideas. But I wrapped this already. This is for my five-year-old. It's actually in my Black Friday haul video. It's a superheroes sticker and activity book and a black panther mask so that's going to be his and he's going to get to open that on christmas eve and then this is going to be for my daughter it's a nicole lee miniature backpack it comes with like a keychain hook so you can hang it off of your backpack and i think she's going to absolutely love this and then he also got her a pair of earrings and a necklace and he actually got this at his job so it's really nice quality um, and he didn't spend a lot so I'm wrapping that for my daughter and then for my 10 year old son we were at the mall and we passed by a kiosk that was selling Lego figures and he went crazy for these Lego figures this is the Lego figure for Thanos and then this is the Hulk and so I'm gonna wrap that up and that's gonna be for him and then as a family gift, my husband decided we should give this as a family gift for everyone. It's called Bingo, but it's basically Connect Four. We used to have one. We loaned it out and it got broken. And I know this is a game that we used to all love playing. It's super easy. And I think my five-year-old would also enjoy playing this. Something simple for him to understand. So I'm going to wrap that up as a family gift. We're just going to give him cash and he can do with it as he wants. So I had told you guys that 
we were going to do an ornament exchange when I went to celebrate with my friends for Christmas last night. And this is the ornament that I got. Isn't it cute? She actually gave me two. So I got this star ornament. It's like natural wood. Really pretty with a Santa and a reindeer. And then she gave me this one. So it looks like a decorated window pane with a bow, snowman, a Christmas tree, and a present. <laughs> 